Hi everybody, I'm Benjamin Whitcomb. Be sure to follow all these social media, subscribe at YouTube. You don't want to miss a thing. You had me at cello, cello. You had me at cello. All right, major and minor chords. We're just starting with major and minor chords. There's more than one way to play them on the instrument, for sure, but by far the simplest and the most common, the one you'll run across by far most common, is one, one, three. You're just gonna go first finger, first finger, third finger. And we've got the root, the fifth, and the third of the chord. So in this case, if I've got A, E, and C sharp, that would be an A, C sharp, E chord. Root, fifth, third. One, one, three. First finger flattened like that, one, one, three. So I, I can just play it anywhere on the instrument. And I get a major chord, one, one, three. Just press pause if you want and try it out. One, one, and three. And no matter where you play that on the instrument, you're going to get yourself a major triad. Okay, the minor triad is a very simple alteration of that. One, one, two, root, fifth, third, A, E, C natural would give me a minor triad. Those are all minor triads. One, one, two. Okay, press pause if you need to. Go one, one, three for major, one, one, two for minor. Be thinking minor thoughts, major thoughts, so that the ear training is making that one be associated with a major sound and that one with a minor sound. You'll see I'm just moving around the instrument. You could just try playing a chromatic scale. Just go up a half step at a time. I, if you do, first few times you're just playing it. Second, third, fourth, fifth times you're thinking of what chord am I playing? I'm on a D, so that's a D, A, F sharp. Or this is an E flat, B flat, G thinking of which which notes am I actually on is good for you as well and then you go and you play some minor chords and you're thinking what am I on I'm on an F F C A flat when you see them you'll think F A C flat F A flat C I know where to find that um, when you're imagining the sound that you want you'll be able to go to that shape Last thing, we can just try the same thing on playing each of these chords throughout a major scale. If I just take a D major scale and I play it all with first finger, then I'm going to be able to build a three note chord from each of those. Doesn't entirely sound, uh, it kind of works with all major. Uh, chords. The real pattern that we would get in D major is going to mix major and minor, but we'll get there. If I play all minor chords, it doesn't work quite as well, but it still kind of works, and it gets you thinking about moving this shape for a major or a minor chord all around the fingerboard. That's step one. Stick with it until major and minor chords are, are no big deal. See you at episode three.